Good morning. It's um, about nine o'clock in the morning. We're about to head to the airport and pick up one of my longtime friends, Bailey. He's coming to spend a couple days down here in Savannah. What's good, dude? I'm chilling. How was your flight? I don't know. I was passed out, dude. Every <laughs> time. Collins Quarter has some of the best breakfast down here in Savannah. I'm getting it like every other morning. We're just kind of hanging out in the park right now. I thought I'd take this time to introduce you to Bailey. He's here for the week in Savannah, but what do you think of Savannah so far? I feel like I could ride my bike here and not get hit by a car. Do I think I could live here? No. Do I enjoy it for the weekend? Hell yeah. Like, Pretty relaxing place compared to the city, I feel like. Yeah, I'm relaxing, but I'm actually out of my comfort zone kind of because like I'm used to having like a hectic day and like leaving yeah. my apartment and like stuffing into a subway every morning. like. But Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays in the morning I have class at FIT. What specifically are you studying right now? Like production management, so it's like textiles and like kind of making clothes, but kind of also just learning about everything in the fashion business so that you can become a manager. I definitely take a lot of influence from my father. I think he's like definitely the most prominent figure in my life. And I constantly look to him for advice. We have dinner reservations, so we're gonna start taking off for that. I'll be holding a table for you, gentlemen. Yes, Avery Reynolds. At what time would it be for? Five o'clock. Yes, indeed. There's so much to choose from. The Pink House is easily one of the nicest places that I come to eat here in Savannah. Despite what it looks like, the prices really aren't that bad. We're sitting in the graveyard across from the house right now, and we're going to talk a little bit about friendship. I think friendship is really important because Whoever you're around has a drastic influence on who you're manifesting and becoming. I don't know, I think people can have a very positive impact on you or a very negative impact as well. Everything you think, see, touch, smell, like any of your senses, your brain is recording all that information. It's, it's, it's all stored. Everything that you put in is a manifestation of who you are over time and I think other people have a drastic impact on that. I mean friends are something that I definitely feel like as much as some people try to show that they don't you know they can be alone and they don't need it. I mean everybody you know everybody strives to have good friendships. Also I just realized we're sitting on Theodore Roosevelt's great great grandfather's grave. Look. Theodore Roosevelt was the great-great-grandson of the Georgia Patriot, Archibald Bullock. Rest in peace, Archibald. <laughs> 